to Learning English with Common Ground International. I'm Misty Davidson. I'm an ESL teacher at Common Ground, and I'm glad you tuned in today. I hope you have a good lesson, and I hope you enjoy yourself. Our lesson today is about pronouns. Pronouns, as you know, take the place of a noun. We can use a pronoun as a subject, an object, or to show possession. We'll see examples of all of these, and Again, you will have a chance to practice. Let's begin. What's our objective? At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify and correctly use pronouns as subjects and objects in a sentence. You will also be able to use pronouns and other words to show possession. Let's begin now with some very basic things. Okay, first of all, what is a pronoun? I bet you know, a pronoun replaces a noun. A pronoun can be a subject or an object, just like any noun. A noun can be a subject or object, so can a pronoun. A pronoun can show possession. Now, unlike nouns, if a noun, if you talk about the word book as a subject or an object, it's still book. A, pronouns, a pronoun changes, pronouns change, depending on how they are used in a sentence. The first person singular is different for a subject and for an object, for example. When a pronoun is a subject, it usually comes at or near the beginning of a sentence. That's the way for you to know this is probably a subject. Let's look at some subject pronouns. I. I just bought a new motorcycle. I is the subject of the sentence. Who bought a new motorcycle? I. You. You look tired today. Who looks tired? You. He. He just started a new business. She. She works as a computer scientist. It. This is my new car. It referring to the car, cost a lot of money. We, first person plural, we are all from Mexico. You is the same. They, they don't know the way home. These pronouns are all subject, subjects. We have the first person, second person, third person singular, first, second, third person plural. Now we're going to look at pronouns used as objects. First person singular is, well, first of all, I'm sorry, pronouns can be direct objects, they can be indirect objects, or they can be objects of preposition. When a pronoun is an object, it usually comes in the middle or toward the end of a sentence. That will tell you it's an object. Let's look at first person singular, me. Give the pencil to me, object of a preposition. To whom? To me. You. I saw you at the mall yesterday. Who did I see? You. Him. This is my boss. Do you know him? Her. I told her to drive carefully. Indirect object. It. This is my new dress. Do you like it? Referring to dress. Okay, that's first, second, and third person singular. Let's look at the plurals. Us. Can you give us, me and everybody else, a ride to the game tonight? Them. Have you seen my gloves? I think I lost them. Them referring to my gloves. Okay, so these are all object pronouns. Next, we're going to look at some pronouns that show possession. Mine. This is my car. It's mine. It belongs to me. Mine means that the car belongs to me. That's first person. Let's look at second person. Singular. Yours. I think this book is yours because 
I left mine at home. Yours belongs to you. Let's look at third person. His. Juan is my neighbor. That house is his means it belongs to Juan, belongs to him. Hers. My family lives in California. Hers lives in Montana. Hers meaning her family belongs to her. Okay, there's no possessive pronoun for it. Okay, that's the singular. Look at the plural. Ours. That cat isn't ours. Ours is black. And that cat is white. Ours meaning belongs to us, our cat. Theirs. Our house is old. Theirs is brand new, meaning the house belonging to them, their house. Now, what else can we do with possessive pronouns? We can answer questions with them. Sometimes we don't need a complete sentence. Whose car is this? It's mine. Whose mother is she? Hers. It's her mother. Mine isn't here. My mother isn't here. Whose father are you? His. That boy is my son. I'm his father. Okay, so we've talked about pronouns to show possession. We're going to talk about some other ways we can show possession. We can add an apostrophe S to a noun that shows possession. This is Bob's house. The house belongs to Bob. If we ask a question, whose house is this? It's Bob's. His. Bob's. I saw Miguel's new car. The car belongs to Miguel. Whose car? Miguel's. Miguel's car. This is my dog's bone. The bone belongs to my dog. Whose bone? My dog's. So we can add an apostrophe S to show possession. We're going to talk about another way to show possession. We've talked about possessive pronouns. They have cousins, just like you probably have cousins. Possessive pronouns have some cousins. They are called possessive adjectives. They're not pronouns, but they mean more or less the same thing. Possessive adjectives come right before a noun. Let's look at some examples. For first person, my. My mother cooked my favorite dinner. My means that the mother and the dinner belong to me. It's my mother, my dinner. I possess them. Second person, your. Can I borrow your blue sweater tonight, the sweater that belongs to you? His. His father just won the lottery, the father belonging to him. Her, her house is a mess, the house belonging to her. It's belonging to it. The dog wagged its tail, the tail belonging to the dog. Note here that it has no apostrophe. The apostrophe would mean it is. You would never say the dog wagged it is tail. That would not make sense. When it's doesn't have an apostrophe, it's a possessive adjective. Let's look at the plural. Our. Our brother is a university professor. Brother that belongs to us, to me and my other siblings. There. Please leave that alone. It's their package. It's not yours. The package belongs to them. And on the screen now you see a chart. The chart has subject pronouns, first person, second person, third person, singular and plural. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Object pronouns, me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them. Possessive adjectives, my, your, his, her, its, our, your, their, and possessive pronouns, my, yours, his, her, its, 
not really a possessive pronoun, ours, yours, and theirs. You can read the chart up and down or you can read it across. Give you a few minutes to look at the chart and then we'll go on and do some practice. We're going to do some structured practice and then we'll do some practice that's a little bit less structured. You're going to follow the pattern. I bought a new car. It belongs to me. It's my car. It's mine. I is the subject. We're talking about first person singular. It belongs to me. Object. It's my car. Possessive adjective. It's mine possessive pronoun. So we're going to go subject, object, possessive adjective, possessive pronoun. We're going to keep the person and the number the same. Subject, object, possessive adjective, possessive pronoun. Blank has a dog. The dog belongs to him. It's blank dog. It's blank. I'll wait for a few minutes. Okay, you're talking about him, so it's third person singular. Everything you're going to do is third person singular. You want subject, I gave you the object, you want possessive adjective and possessive pronoun. He has a dog. The dog belongs to him, I gave you that. It's his dog, it's his. Does everybody understand that? Let's try another one. We, third person sing, first person plural, we vacation in the mountains every year. It's fun for object. This is a picture of possessive adjective mountain cabin. It's possessive pronoun. Okay, let's see how you did. We vacation in the mountains every year. I gave you that. It's fun for us. This is a picture of our mountain cabin. It's ours. Blank buy a new car every year. It's silly of them. This is blank newest car. It's blank. Now we're talking of them. So that's third person plural. You want subject? Object, subject, I gave you the object, possessive adjective, possessive pronoun. Let's see how you did. They buy a new car every year. It's silly of them. This is a picture of their newest car. It's theirs. A little bit different. Maria found a new job. It's blank job, it's blank. You can do this a couple of different ways and either way is correct. I'll give you some time. Is everybody ready? Maria found a new job. It's Maria's job or it's her job. You can do either one. They're both correct. It's Maria's or it's hers. Either one is correct. Okay, we're going to do some additional practice. In this case, you will choose the best word in parentheses to complete the sentence. You'll have some choices. You choose the best one. This is I, me, my, mine umbrella. You, your, yours is still in the car. There are two. You choose. This is my umbrella. Yours is still in the car. Did everybody get that? Is everybody good? I hope so. Let's go on and try another one. She, her, hers likes to swim. It's 
she, her, or hers hobby. She likes to swim. It's her hobby. I, me, my, mine, friend, just got back from vacation. I saw he, him, his yesterday. My friend just got back from vacation. I saw him yesterday. Please tell I, me, my, mine when you are ready to go. Just text I, me, my, mine, and I'll pick you, your, yours up. You have three. I'll wait. Is everybody ready? Please tell me when you are ready to go. Just text me and I'll pick you up. Number five, they, them, their, theirs car is in the shop. So she let they, them, their, theirs borrow, she, her, hers. Again, there are three. Their car is in the shop. So she let them borrow hers. I, me, my, mine, book, lost, it, its, jacket, it, its, with the apostrophe or without, my favorite book. So we're talking about something my book lost, that a book lost. My book lost its jacket, the jacket belonging to the book. It's with an apostrophe, I-T as it is, my favorite book. Number seven, today is I, me, my, mine, daughter's birthday. We, us, our, our, ours are going to have a party for she, her, hers. Today is my daughter's birthday. We are going to have a party for her. Okay, Ahmed or Ahmed's car was in an accident. So he's using Clara or Clara's until he, him, his is fixed. Are you ready? Ahmed's car, the car belonging to Ahmed was in an accident. So he's using Clara's until his is fixed. Clara's meaning Clara's car and his meaning his car is fixed. She, her, hers mother is from Canada. I, me, my, mine is from Argentina. We're talking about mothers, not about ourselves. Her mother is from Canada. Mine is from Argentina. Her mother, the mother belonging to her, mine, meaning my mother, is from Argentina. Is this you, your, yours new car? I like it, it's, it's. Okay, well, what did you get? Is this your new car? I like it. Okay, we've done a lot. We're going to review. To review, a pronoun takes the place of a noun. A pronoun can be used as a subject or an object, just like a noun. A pronoun can also show possession. A noun with apostrophe S can also show possession. 
And finally, possessive adjectives can show possession. And there you have it. We've learned about pronouns as subjects, objects to show possession, about apostrophe s with nouns, and about possessive adjectives. That's a lot. You've done well. I hope you learn a lot. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to Learning English. I'm Misty Davidson with Common Ground, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.